Hey, what's up everyone? It is me, the Dadtris, and I am here as always with... AMJ Productions. We're back with another Will It Work video, mm -hmm. unboxing, testing uh, video on one that I picked up off of Macari. Yes. That was my first purchase off Macari. Got a pretty mm -hmm. good deal on a Sony camcorder that I'm going to show you. We're going to show you. But before that, I wanted to let you guys know that the first video that we did... Yes. ...on the VX2000 that just sold on eBay for $214.97. Yeah. Super cool. Very... Very cool. So that money will go back into the camcorder fund. Mm -hmm. You can use that for more purchases down the road exactly. and more videos like this. So yeah, yeah. the camcorder that I've got here, mm -hmm. car, like I said, is an HDR FX1. Yes. A unique camcorder mm -hmm. in its own right. So. One of the um, HDV um, camcorders. Yes. I was actually looking at some of these camcorders because while they do HDV, they can also do mini DV. So I was actually right. looking at FX1s, FX7s before yeah. we uh, ended up uh, finding some VX2000s. Right. Or like our first purchases uh, into this. Yeah, so. this was I think one of their first lines or yes. introductory lines mm -hmm. of a high definition mm -hmm. um, camcorder on tape. And yeah, so it has a lot of the same characteristics obviously as like the, the other ones. It's just HD 1080i. Mm -hmm. Another one that uh, through the videos and through recording and skateboarding is probably out there. I just didn't right. see it. Yeah, so exactly. when I got into thinking, okay, I can purchase one of these and like all these camcorders start propping up that I was not aware of, yeah. you know, and all these like handle based camcorders mm -hmm. are super cool in their own right. All the semi-professional line of these, you know, are super super awesome yeah so same thing like we've we've talked about on the other ones if the tape compartment doesn't work don't want to make a digital recorder on yeah. it you can still throw a fisheye lens mm -hmm. um, on the front of them so all the functionality is the same and this one actually is probably cool because you could do dv or hd right so um yeah picked this one up for 60 dollars right and with mm -hmm. shipping and tax it came to 83 dollars and 45 cents the only thing is mm -hmm which kind of stinks. So the good and bad of this is this one was listed as kind of parts. He said it just does not work. It didn't yeah, power on. It didn't power on. So um, I figured for the price of 60 bucks, I'm going to gamble on it. And mm -hmm. also, as you'll see in the pictures that will show, it came with quite a few accessories. Mm -hmm. A lot of accessories. So some tapes. Um, mm -hmm. It came with a HAPOG, which yeah, is like a, a video capturing. Yeah, video uh, capture. Video capture card device and uh, a few lenses some lenses on, on top of that so yeah no a lot a lot of accessories one of the accessories that actually started like when dad showed me this listing and yeah. i noticed uh it seemed like there wasn't a power supply so yes. i was wondering like right I didn't when see they one. when they listed it as you know doesn't mm -hmm. power on how do they how do they know unless they have other right. equipment but either way yeah, we'll unbox it. And he he had it originally, it I think, for like two hundred and twenty-five dollars, and then it just sat and it sat and mm -hmm. sat. And I saw it lower, and it had it for like sixty bucks. I'm like, the accessories alone yeah. are kind of worth that. Mm -hmm. And then if I can, maybe we'll play around with getting it working. Yeah, maybe not. You know, again, I'll just put it back on eBay and either mm -hmm. get my money back out of it or maybe a little bit more because we'll do the cleaning and the testing and see what's going on with it. Exactly and uh, save all that work from the other people. Are you guys having to do that? We do that. Wanna? Let's get into it. Yes. No, super exciting. Cool. First FX yeah. uh, camera. Always cut towards you, kids out there. Always cut towards you. Oh my gosh. Don't listen to me. Okay. All right, so cool. Ooh. Right on top, we'll show the- Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, these are neat. 63 minute tapes? Uh, yeah, 63 minute digital HD video, oh, cool. HDV tapes. I didn't even pay attention to mm -hmm. that in the listing. I didn't look at, I just saw a mini DV tape. I didn't I look to see. I did not look, I, I, no. I looked at that. I looked at that to see. I should have known by the different color. Yeah. No, this would be nice because if we do like somehow like get it up and running yeah. or down the road, we, get need one. A, we need an HDV. That's it. We got an HDV tape now. Perfect. So. Uh, I'm just gonna pop this out. We got an aftermarket uh, rechargeable uh, battery, one of the big ones. This looks like almost a uh, oh, yep, a 970 uh, aftermarket. Okay. So really cool. Yep. Ah, uh, dead cat. Yep. Sure. Oh. I guess it would go on the front of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is bizarre. I don't know. Some plastic piece. <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh, what wow. the heck is that? Okay. Looks like we got some sort of remote here. 
So interesting. It's just a remote like a, zoom control and re yeah. like a remote, but I'm know. trying to think what this would clamp onto. Okay. Either way, it's neat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's not even what what is that? That's uh I don't even know. In case we ever get a tripod. In, in case we get a tripod that just so happens to utilize the same mount. We got uh, I don't know what that is. Some sort of strap. Yep. I'll take it. What's that one go to? I don't even know. It's a lens hood of some sort. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh something. Uh -huh. Never mind. Never mind. Look at this. This is something foreign. Like the name Hanel. I like how we're pulling out stuff that wasn't even like in I like didn't the see listing. It. Or, oh, this is what the converter's yeah. for. But the converter goes to something that we can't even use. Is this a strap for like a Wii controller? <laughs> it kind of looks like. It. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hey, you know, this is part of the fun. This is actually. You know, this no, is this, part of the fun. This reminds me of like when we were doing um, recent grabs and we would unbox on, your on channel. my channel. Yes. We would unbox auction stuff. Random we, auction. We didn't bikes. know. Yeah, yeah, what was in it? We I just buy a an, an auction lot of stuff mm -hmm. and we would open it on camera and see. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what this is. One of those style power cables yeah. with that end. Uh, some sort of cold shoe mount, but um, I don't even actually know. Um, a Sony, cool. A Sony teleconversion lens, the, t the mm -hmm. times two. That's awesome. That's Sony branded. I don't know what size that would be for, mm -hmm. but. But of some kind. Mm -hmm. Screw on lens. Yep. Here's another, I believe, Sony lens. Mm -hmm. In a Sony bag, too, which is kind of neat. I like that. Oh, yeah. They're is both, that yeah, one? Yeah, oh, also awesome. a Sony bag. Perfect. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. Yep. This is a... The wide angle lens. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. So 0.7. Yep. All right. Just manuals, manuals here. Miscellaneous. These are for the Hapog. Right. This is the Hapog stuff. Yeah. So this is what we saw. We saw that there was some pamphlets for Hapog and mm -hmm. HD PBR software um, for it. Yeah. And a manual for something else. Mm-hmm. CP300. I have no clue what that thing is. So I don't even think it actually came with a Hapog. Really? No, I think it just came with all the accessories. Okay. Oh my gosh, this thing is... Wow. Grody. Wowzer. Silica. Wowzer, bowser, bowser. All right. So it is my first impression. Mm -hmm. It's dirty. Yeah. But it just looks... It just looks dirty. Dirty. Yeah. So, like, the lens is dirty Ooh, and there's yeah. some dirt on there, but Ooh. it doesn't look like it's scratched or anything. Okay. Yeah, it's no, it, yeah, it does from. look like it's just dirty or dusty. It's yeah. not really all scratched up or anything, which right. is good. You know, that's what you would want to see. All that can be easily cleaned off, you know? Yep. Um, just to reiterate on this, um, HDV uh, or standard um, digital video, so high def or mm -hmm. standard definition, three CCDs. Oh, oh look! No. I, I I noticed that. I, I was going to mention that. Didn't even see that. I'll have to mm -hmm. uh, look at the pictures on that. Yeah. Actually, so that the, the viewfinder hood, which is the thing that we were seeing there, yeah, uh, is missing. So you see the viewfinder, but you don't have the piece, the actual eyepiece or eye cup. Luckily, if it is working, yeah, we have that. But you know, that does stink that that is missing. No, I was checking. I was checking around to see if it was there. Obviously, a difference is on these. They put the LCD screen on the top mm -hmm. as opposed to a flip-out screen on the side. Three and a half inch screen yeah. on the top. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what I did notice is that it didn't have power supply at all. It did have a cable. Yeah, uh, it had a cable for it, but yeah, so we'll be able to test that out. Yeah, we'll do, which is you know, great. we'll do some, you know, in the in the midst of that, hopefully we have some product shots showing the front. Mm -hmm. I think we'll show it as is, like not cleaned, and then maybe do afterwards. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that might be kind of neat. Mm -hmm. not, not sure, I, I'm not gonna do a lot of work on this. Mm -hmm. And, but mm -hmm. you know, it's 60 bucks, I, I'm not sweating anything, this is just, exactly. It's the way it is. For the hell of it, Yep. really would like to test this and see. They said it was not going to turn on. Let's see if they uh, hold up to that, which they don't. 
It does turn on. We got time here. I just want to cancel out of that. Where's the menu button? Wow. Somewhere. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, the lens needs yeah. totally clean. That's, but, that's right. uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Maybe the zoom. Oh, no, we got zoom there. Okay. On that. Oh. All right. And then, yeah, zoom there. Oh, and then this is turned off. Oh. Holy crap. So all the zoom functions are working. Um, okay. Which is great. We're getting somewhere here. Just do the filters. Let's yeah. just go through a few buttons. ND filters. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different controls here. Right. Uh, where's manual focus? focus? There. Which is working. And you'll see uh, it's on HDV. It's illuminated on that right Currently, now. Currently, yeah. It's probably a switch in the menu or a setting, would you think? To mm -hmm. switch the two? I don't know if it's an actual button somewhere. No, it is a setting in the... Okay. Um, or it could be like if you put a mini DVD tape in there. Maybe it might auto. auto. Do you want to try it with a battery? I would love to, actually, yeah. And then we're going to... Can you see through the... Items? Oh, yeah. Good, good point, actually. Let's do that real quick. Mm-hmm. You can see through the eyepiece. So I wonder if it's broke, or is that just something like the piece is missing? Uh, it's the piece is missing. Cool. So it does look like it might be a little messed up. Yeah, I think it is. So it might be broke off. I'm not actually quite sure. You know what's cool though on these mm -hmm. that is possible, sometimes handle replacements like this, or just the eyepiece replacement mm -hmm. isn't all that difficult or no. labor intensive. Well, no, because here, you can, um, or wait, oh no, that that's is the, for the that's release. for the release. Okay. No, yeah, you would have to unscrew this, but like I'm you not said. Quite sure. Like, on the VX2000s and 2100s, even I think the PDs, mm -hmm. um, the handles uh, to, to take those off or replace them or do any work on them is, is pretty, pretty simple. simple. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So battery's working too. Yep. Wow, that's incredible. So I'm gonna switch back to here. I kinda wanna open up the take compartment yep. and see what's going on there. Yep, sounds good. I don't think there's anything else. Can you think of any other features on here to- Not really, I mean- Check the, the menu the to biggest... see, is there a scroll dial on there? There is, yeah. So yeah, that's good too. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so the mechanism did open up. Yeah. If we wanna try, we could try just a yep. normal mini DV tape. Uh, right now, okay, and see what see what happens. This is our first time. Sounds normal. Mm -hmm. Just Sounds about. Pretty good. Yeah. Let's see if I can figure out this menu mm -hmm. and uh, get it switched over. There we go. So now I can yep. switch it, and, and then the switched. light switched to TV, which is cool. great. Yep. Moment of truth. Um. Yeah, I guess because I'm not sure where the uh, tape is. Oh, okay. So. Well, let's just record it, yeah. I guess. Let's see. I'm gonna just like zoom in, uh, show you guys as well on there. Mm -hmm. And we are recording. Do that. Yeah. Do some of that. Yep. And while this is gonna be a pretty dirty recording because of the lens. the lens, we'll play that back real quick. It sounded very normal. So that went back to HDV, but I don't, again, I don't know what that matters or not. Oh, it auto so detects. Uh, okay. okay. Sweet. Play back. Mm -hmm. Rewind. It's not, it's not doing it's anything. Not, it's not doing any glitches whatsoever. It's really interesting how this is supposed to be DV mm -hmm. and how like it's either stretched widescreen or it actually, I don't know. It's bizarre. Really? Like, it doesn't look like it's. It's not four by three. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I, I I'm kind of stunned yeah. and shocked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the one, like the PD or the PDX10, I am expecting to work, and then it didn't work. And, and then now this one, I'm not expecting to work. And yeah, so this is awesome, man. No, yeah, this is great. Wow. I would love to get this cleaned up. Yeah. And then test out an HDV tape in there, yes. which I'd have no. I'd have to imagine it's gonna work just as good as a mini DV. Um, doesn't work any different. Yeah. So uh, there isn't anything that's else awesome. to let's um, do. We, well, no, we need to do our. Let's do some further testings. Uh, this uses a 3.5 uh, millimeter conversion like cable uh, to RCA, um, or you could use S video, uh -huh. and it has a component 
output as well that's a different cable. So we're going to turn the camera on and see, and we're getting a picture. Wow. So that's awesome. Yeah. That is great. No way. Yeah. That's not power on. <laughs> that is... Sometimes that stuff just happens, you know? Wow. Luckily, um, it happened for us, rather, you know, I, in, in the sense of, like, you know, we're able to, like, test this out, you know? Yeah. Like we said with the PDX-10, it was it sucked because it was supposed to be working. Right. This one ended up working, and yep, that's great. Still, that stinks that that is broken. Yep. But, like you said, it might. It might be an easy fix, like it is on the on the VX on the VXs. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're, we'll see. And wow. one thing I wanted to mention on the tape compartment, as we're testing these though, and it's working for us, mm -hmm. the tape compartments are. I mean, there's a life on them. Yep. So I think when I list these, I, I can't guarantee that all this stuff is going to continue to function. You're seeing it in real time with us. Mm -hmm. You're seeing that it works right now. Yeah, no, and, and I can't guarantee point. any of this stuff for any amount of time after that. I'm just doing my best to put good camcorders in anybody or skateboarders or action sports or whatever's hands to mm -hmm. be able to utilize it. Yeah, which this is a great, great like in, in introduction to both having mini DV and HD quality. Yes, right. You know? right. While the tapes are maybe a little bit harder to find and maybe uh, a little, little bit more, little more expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a cool so it's a cool piece. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a cool way of getting into both formats. Let okay, me so. see one other thing. Mm -hmm. Bottom looks really good as well. I want to see where um, Firewire out. Oh, Firewire! It's down here, so we can test that oh, out as well. It's underneath. Yeah, we can test out the Firewire. Do port. you want to do that now? and then we'll clean it up mm -hmm. and do some more. Yes. And uh, test the HD portion. Sounds good. Yeah, so let's do the DV now. Mm -hmm. Okay, Okay. we're back. Um, got the Firewire plugged into the camcorder. Yep. And uh, yeah, so software's on. And turn the camcorder on. You should hear the, the beep acknowledge or the sound acknowledgement. Sweet. There it we is. We also have a uh, light. And there's something else. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Light there for DV mm -hmm. and then HDV. Yeah. Sick. Perfect. Man, this is super rad. Yeah. It's crazy that it's a it's widescreen. Yeah. For like. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure um, how that works. Yeah, really yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. But um, for sure, really cool, you know. Okay. So yeah. All right, well, uh, I think we'll get back to the other stuff we had planned on doing, do some mm -hmm. product shots and- Clean it up. And then do the uh, HD. the HD portion. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, psyched. All right. All right, we're back and mm -hmm. we got the camcorder cleaned up. Yes. And this thing is like, it's almost perfect. Mm -hmm. With the exception of what you saw before, which is the eyepiece uh -huh. being broke. But this thing cleaned up so freaking well. So, uh, almost tempted to keep it. Yes. I don't need it. Exactly. And we're I would not, rather sell We're not it. interested in HDV. We'd rather sell it. Yeah. I, I've got the is. AX2000 that I'm recording on. I'd rather put this back into the camcorder fund and get right. one, you know, something that I'm really interested in. Mm -hmm. So, but it's gorgeous. Yeah, it really is. All, you know, all the sides, mm -hmm. uh, you know, both, both sides of the camcorder, the top, the handle. Mm-hmm. The LCD screen, the lens, lens hood, um, all of it just, just cleaned up so freaking well. All that dust, grime, dirt yeah. is just gone. The lens as well. Alcohol, uh, alcohol wipes is, and, uh, and some elbow grease. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess exception probably would be, and this is a little nitpick, is mm -hmm. probably right here where the paint is. Uh, That's that the was, only imperfection kind of, really on it. Yeah, scratched uh, off and could, it's showing the bare metal instead of it right. being Right, you could probably paint. nitpick some some areas. I mean, it's never going to be perfectly yeah, mint condition, perfect, it's but used. it's as close. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty critical on my stuff and it's, a, it's really, really, really mm -hmm. nice. And then the last thing, yes, is the eyepiece, and I went back and forth on this. I was considering, you know, the aspect of trying to fix it. Because mm -hmm. um, it's so nice, like if you fixed it, 
then it would be a perfect camcorder. It'd be like a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah. And I only say that because I can't give it a 10 because it's not new. Exactly. But yeah, if the eyepiece was on there, it'd be perfect. But I was considering fixing it, but seeing as how well it did clean up, um, I'm not gonna do that because the risk, right now I just feel like the risk reward because I haven't worked on one of these, the risk reward isn't there. If I was to try to fix that and mess something up, I could lessen you know, the value of it. So I'd yeah. rather just sell it in the condition that it is with everything working, then the person who, who gets this could decide if they wanna try to fix it or just leave it as is. Yeah, I'm psyched. Very. It's gonna make a great uh, a great piece for somebody. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, at this time, uh, I think we're gonna take it outside. It's a great day. It's a mm -hmm. beautiful day, sun shining. Um, so we're gonna take it out and shoot some standard definition footage and some HD footage so you guys can see it, yep. and then us as well. Yeah, this know. will be our first time recording on a uh, HTV camcorder mm -hmm. uh, with both HTV and mini DV. And yeah, again, great day, so I'll make for some really good example footage for you guys to see. Yep, so we'll be back after, uh, after we start shooting that. Yeah, so you guys go from there. So we just went through and reviewed back the footage that we recorded uh, onto one of the uh, HDV tapes that we have. Yep, you guys just saw it as well, so I exactly. hope you are as impressed as we were. I thought it looked yeah. great. No, it did. Um, yeah, for the time that this really came out, thoroughly impressed by the HD quality and the yeah. fact that it goes so nicely, like it switches so nicely from a HD to a mini DV format and yep. it looks like you know the two mm -hmm. is really awesome you know it's really cool to see actually would it be worth noting that maybe the way we did it wasn't the correct way exactly we recorded uh hdv and dv to the same exact tape uh which is a, probably a no-no because of the way the capture software is having a hard time we had to go back we yeah, had to record the... hd and capture then, the HD, yep, and, and then, then we had to capture, capture the DVD. DVD. So it was just more time consuming or mm -hmm. labor intense. So I would say that probably the best way is, is to have two, two tapes. tapes. Yeah, and, or yeah, if you're gonna separately record DV 
it, or yes, you should separately Don't alternate. Record. Basically, mm -hmm. don't go back and forth between DV and H, uh, HDV. Just well, on the either same tape. set a certain amount of time for DV and then a certain amount of time for HDV yeah. on a tape or mm -hmm. have two separate tapes. Yeah, which I think two separate tapes is probably the best yeah. recommendation yeah. for it. This thing uh, is working great, and I think, like you were mentioning, it's yeah. going to be listed on eBay. It will, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I don't want to keep this one. Uh, I think this is, I'm super happy. This will make a great camcorder for somebody, and like I mm -hmm. always say, I can't guarantee any of this stuff. It's just working yeah. as we're testing it, you know, and doing my best on, we're doing our best mm -hmm. to put good camcorders out there yeah. for people. So yeah, it'll... And yeah, if you guys aren't aware, and if you guys have only been aware of like the VXs, this is a really cool camcorder. Again, yeah. HD and mini DV quality. Yep. You saw both the footage uh, side by side together. You're able to tell. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a really cool feature. Yeah. It's really cool to have. Yeah. Super, super beneficial. Mm -hmm. If you're watching the video to this point, the first person to put in the comment section, Wu Tang. I'll send you this tape for free. I know oh, it's not yeah. much, but it's just something. Yeah. Just something cool. An HD uh, DV tape. So another, I guess, successful video. Yes, definitely. Yeah, super psyched on it. So again, like always, yes. if you guys are enjoying this, if you like this style of video, if you wouldn't mind, give a subscribe to the channel. Yeah, please. Throw a comment down there mm -hmm. and uh, give it a like, a share, any of that stuff that you can do helps me out, shows me that you know mm -hmm. we're making good videos and that you guys enjoy them. Yeah. We've got more lined up. A lot We've more. got like five or six camcorders in the works, so <laughs> there's do. another one on the way. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as we mm -hmm. are, and we'll see you next time for another video. Yep. See you guys. See ya.